today's the first official LLM calling vlog and I want to talk about Sunday school. I want to talk about young people's work and I'm going to talk about it under the questioning title is leading our young people in their sessions as important as leading the main service. I will start from the position of absolutely yes. To me, it is fundamentally part of the whole church provision. It matters that our young people have qualified and passionate and called people leading them, people who want to share their faith, want to answer questions, want to challenge the young people in their own understanding of the Christian faith. In that way, how is it any different to the person who stands and leads the main Sunday service. It's about ministry, it's about mission, it's about a message, it's about faith, it's about guidance. And in many ways, the Sunday school leader plays a more important role because the way we minister to our young people on a Sunday morning is one-to-one. -one. Okay, there may be myself and two or three helpers on a Sunday morning with a group of nine to 20 children. You can't really tell, never can tell on a Sunday morning how many you're going to get. But it is one-to-one. -one. We know every single child individually. We know their names, we know their backgrounds, we know their parents, we know where they go to school, we know what they like, we know if they're into football or reading or music or drama. And we try and tailor our sessions to them as individuals. How many people can say they do that on a Sunday morning in their main service? How many preachers can say they do that with their sermon? Let's be clear, it's almost impossible and we all try when we preach to make sure we're connecting with as many people as possible. But in Sunday school it's necessary. If you don't do that then you're not getting the kids interested. You're not holding their attention. Why would they want to come? And our young people don't come because they're forced to come. Our young people love to come. They bound in, they run in, <clears throat> they enjoy it. And when they're given the opportunity to invite friends along, they do. Now that is praise indeed, I think, for the ministry that we are lucky enough to have 12 passionate leaders taking the uh, leadership role in. So what do we do on a Sunday in Sunday school? Well, how do I prepare a Sunday school session? Well, I look at three things. I look at message, I look at ministry, and I look at mission. That's how I look at my Sunday school sessions. And it's well known, and it's all over the internet, and you can find resources for this. Left, right, and centre is not a problem. It's nothing new. I haven't invented it. It's nothing particularly clever, but it does work. So each week that I'm leading, and I lead about once a month, I will be looking at what's the message that we're going to give today. So, for example, at the moment we're working through the Lion Storyteller Bible. So I will know which story it is that I'm going to be leading on. So the week coming up, this Sunday coming, I'm doing uh, Jonah the Groaner from the Lion Storyteller Bible. It's the story of Jonah and the whale. It's fabulous. And I'll be thinking about what the message is. What is it that I want our young people to go away knowing from this story? What is it about this Bible story that they will carry through with them into their week? They'll be looking at the ministry. So how am I going to deliver that? How am I going to be able to get that across to them? How are they going to be able to be intrigued by this? How will that work? And then there's the mission. Okay, so you've heard this Bible story and you've enacted with it and you've done some activity around it. But what's that changed in you and how will that affect how you are this coming week. Now to me that's the same as a preach. For a preach in the main service I'm thinking about the same things. What's the message I want to get across? What's the biblical account of that? What's the meaning for everybody and how do I want people to take that forward? It's the same thing and honestly it takes about the same amount of time. It's in different brackets so it's less about the, in Sunday school it's much less about the, um, the research and the biblical accounts and the historicity of it the theology of it, it's much more about the practical application of it and the understanding and the being able to cope with the millions of questions that may might arise. Um, but it still takes about the same amount of time. 
easily three hours, often six hours. That really is what Sunday school leaders put into their sessions. It's not pulled off shelves. It's not as easy as it may appear. It takes work and people who are passionately called to this put work in. I believe the church, and by that I mean the entire Christian church, not our church locally. In fact, our church locally, St Nick's, embraces Sunday school, embraces our youth, embraces the leadership, supports and nurtures. It's fabulous. But the church wider, I don't believe, values the ministry to the young people as much as they value the ministry to the adults. It's a broad generalisation. I'm being facetious. I know I'm being facetious, but I believe that it can appear that way. And in some places, I think that is the case. So this is about... It's not how it should be. Our young people matter. They're the future. They're the future of our church. They're the future of our faith. And to be honest, they're the ones that have the questions. They're the ones that are open and they're the ones that listen. They're the ones that hear. And they, every single week, I lead Sunday school, teach me something. I learn from them. I grow with them. I adore it. The ministry blows me away time and time again. Our young people matter. They matter to the future of the world, to the future of Christianity. And they matter to those of us who are called to minister to them. Bye.